But first, you will be able to ride for free on Singapore's newest rail line from the day it opens on the 22nd of December till the 1st of January next year. The aim is to get commuters accustomed to the downtown line. And when fares do kick in, they will match those of the other two automated, fully underground networks, the North East and Circle lines. Only the first phase of the downtown line will open this month. And two of its six stations will be part of an ongoing trial, offering free travel before the morning peak hour. There seems to be light at the end of the tunnel for the authorities' experiment to shift train travellers away from weekday rush hours. The downtown line wants Teluk Ayer and downtown stations have been added to the free pre-peak travel trial, where commuters don't pay for rides if they exit before 7.45am, Mondays to Fridays. This means 18 stations in busy city areas are part of the trial, up from 16. And commuters were busy trying out Singapore's fifth and newest rail network, the downtown line, at this open house event. It's actually a bit better than the east-west line. Maybe because it's also, it's also speed, you cut, you cut fast. So I'm, actually, I can reach my destination faster. The new trains, uh, the, the one feature is that the seats are bigger and wider, and it's good for people who are a bit of a big size. The benefits don't end there, thanks to better connectivity. Quite a lot of commuters are going to enjoy a savings in fare because the fares are count calculated on the basis of distance and the distance that they can take, the shortest distance they can take to make their connections from now on will be shorter, so they will enjoy fare savings. The downtown line is also a test bit for ideas. Trains have attention-grabbing priority seats telling you to be good and give up space to those who need it more. It works because of the seat more attractive, for I mean more aware for the elderly. Lah. It depends on the personality of the persons. Um, if they want to give up the seats, no matter or not, if it is priority seat or not, they will give up the seats. A new queuing system is also being tried. The existing system encourages commuters to line up on both sides of platform doors in a funnel-like pattern. Exiting commuters get out of trains and waiting passengers go in. The system being experimented with tells passengers to line up on only one side of platform doors, effectively dividing boarding points into two lanes for exit and entry. In addition, the downtown line is the first in Singapore to have soft music piped in for a more pleasant commuting experience while people wait for trains. Incidentally, LTA is asking for a public vote on the four designs for priority seats, and hundreds of you are giving feedback on Twitter and Facebook. Many praise the cheery candy-themed looks, but a number of you say the designs look like they would appeal to children, and that could pose new problems. With Christmas approaching, some say the seats remind them of gift-wrapping paper. And this could be the bottom line. A few of you say the campaign is creative and still in its infancy, so people should give it a chance.